Human rights are an achievement of humanity and a symbol of progress. In 2013, Chinese President Xi Jinping consecutively proposed building the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road. The pairing later came to be known as the Belt and Road Initiative. Over the past decade, the BRI has become a platform for building a global community of shared future, aimed at promoting common development of partner countries, seeking progress through cooperation, and ensuring human rights with the benefits deriving from development. The BRI is increasingly evolving into a pathway for human rights that advances the common development of humanity towards a shared future. Charles lives in Mingafor village, Hunger, Burundi. In recent years, villagers have gradually started building new houses. With his new house already built, Charles is now invited to help his neighbors. Burundi, located in East Africa, enjoys abundant rainfall, making it suitable for rice production. However, in the past, Inga Fort Village faced persistent food shortages. Farmers were extremely poor. <laughs> A technical cooperation project implemented by China has helped improve rice yield here. In late 2015, a team of Chinese agricultural experts led by Wang Kuada arrived in Burundi. Their first task was to conduct field investigations. Rice yields in Burundi used to be very low due to the presence of mixed varieties, outdated cultivation techniques, and unscientific fertilization. After years of experiments, the experts introduced Chinese hybrid rice varieties that are more disease-resistant and suitable for local cultivation. Advanced cultivation and fertilization management techniques were also adopted. Nowadays, the yield of hybrid rice in Burundi has been increased to 10 tons per hectare. <laughs> After five seasons of hybrid rice cultivation, Finger Fork Village got rid of hunger. And Charles was among the first to build a new house. So far, China has dispatched 45 experts in five batches to Burundi for agricultural technology assistance. They successfully resolved the historical problem of reduced or failed rice production in Burundi's mountainous regions due to blast disease and achieved partial localization of hybrid seed production. Hanon village is located about 60 kilometers south of the Cambodian capital, Phnom Penh. It used to be one of the poorest villages in the region, lacking education and medical facilities, struggling with poor road conditions, and frequently experiencing droughts and floods. <laughs> เอ่อเป็นภพ
รวมถึง6กาบิมวนเนเปดเมย์กราวคลางปูนยงกราวสอสอาบเนเปดเลียงเนเปดเลมิกชาหรือจางเมย์จางเลียงลูกครูนั่นแหละครูเอาปุ๊กขนมจีนเติบเตะครัวสลาเนื้อสเพียบตรุษรมหลังแปรกอดคลาเปย์ชอนมาเกียบบะตรุบะกัดกรุษนาดาปุ๊กยืนใน2021 a new Chinese funded school was put into use providing a safe and comfortable environment for the children of Tanon Village นเปดชมเกียทำไมยมสบายจัดนเปดกอดปลาเกียนิดาปุยืนสระสะอาดนเปดเลี้ยงเวียนมันเล็กเล็กมุดเลี้ยงตัวตัวบ้านเกียดสระสะอาดให้หนึ่งอุปกรณ์ซักซากัดดูเจียกัดตาบอับบายดอกตึ๊ก Also in 2021, a three-year project of Cambodia-China Friendship Village for poverty alleviation was launched. The China-funded project helps Tanon Village build roads, get access to clean drinking water, improve education and medical conditions, develop farming and animal husbandry, gain skills training, and improve the environment. <laughs> ตัวตะเทือกาหงจ่าที่บ้านเตาเสียตะวันกับมาบ้านจุกโกนจุกชาวอย่างเว้ยเนี่ยใน the 21st century global issues such as hunger and poverty persist posing challenges to human rights protection in various countries and global human rights governance Based on its own development and poverty alleviation experience, China is sharing agricultural development opportunities with BRI partner countries, contributing to food security and alleviation of hunger and poverty. Kelvin's hometown is located in the Mwanza region of northwest Tanzania. Today, he and his colleagues are heading to the nearby Masungwi village to install household water pipelines. Located near Lake Victoria, the largest freshwater lake in Africa, Masungwi have no shortage of water. However, in recent years, due to rapid population growth and inadequate waste disposal capabilities, the water quality of Lake Victoria has been continuously declining. t u k a w a tunakesa, tunasinda. Ni ndo mbili mbili, ya kutose, ya sikutose, ndo mbili. t u k a w a na sinda sana, ya kisimani ya l i k u w a ni machafu. Hata ya bombadi, tukawa tunaletua mara mbili kwa wiki, kutoka kwenye b u a w a l e t u ambalo l i k o pali. Ya l i k u w a ni meusi, mara wanaweka shabu, mara w a e k i shabu. t u k a w a tunalisha sana. The water supply, the previous was not good. As the time goes on, with the pollution and uh, garbage in of uh, this play, uh, of the lake, Now even the water is not safe. In 2017, China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation undertook a water supply project in the Mwanza region. Water plants and reservoirs were constructed, delivering treated clean water to the locals. Kelvin, who majored in civil engineering at college. Also joined the water supply project. He worked alongside Chinese colleagues in addressing the water supply challenges in his hometown. Do you remember what was the challenge we were facing during the construction? Oh yes, I remember. Up there, it was just a big rock. Yes. So right. there was a huge work for drilling and blasting, yes. which was uh, very hard work. Up to now, CCECC has built three water plants in the Mwanza region, reducing the cost of water to one fifth of the original price and benefiting around 150,000 residents. The implementation of the satellite uh, town projects has significantly increased the water coverage, so it has improved also the livelihood. 
of the community living in those areas. Belt and Road Initiative is, is beneficial to local communities, it benefits local people. So I've seen the real impact of the Belted Road Initiative. It has made impact on communities, impact in terms of job creation, impact on poverty reduction, impact on improved agricultural outcomes. The Belt and Road Initiative is obviously creating those basic circumstances in which it is possible for governments to create systems, to create networks and opportunities that can help improve the quality of people's lives. Living a life of contentment is the ultimate human right. The BRI has played a role in improving the livelihoods of partner countries, ensuring that the development gains benefit a wider population. The Smedovaro steel mill was once considered the pride of Serbia as it was the only state-owned steelworks in the country. However, late last century, due to poor management and fierce competition in the international market, the mill faced a crisis and was on the brink of collapse. Plašili smo se svi ovaj naših opstajanja fabrike kao i financijske sigurnosti za naše porodice i i opstanak ove firme. In 2016, China's Her Steel Group purchased the mill and established HBIS Serbia. However, how to guide the plant out of its woes posed a significant challenge. Her Steel assembled a nine-person management team from China to lead the revitalization of the century-old steel mill. They also fulfilled a previous promise, not reducing the existing workforce by even a single person. znači potpuno potpuna izvesnost za njihove porodice znači uključivanje zaposlenih aktivno u sve projekte o kojima sam pričao njihova motivacija da budu sastavni deo uspeha ove firme Otkako je došao novi poslodavac dobili smo sigurnost i u platama i za naše na zaposlenje i dijemo posao konstantno In 2018, the plant produced 1.77 million tons of steel, a record high in the 105 years since its establishment. By 2020, the mill had retained the position as the country's biggest exporter for three consecutive years. Chinese company saved our steel mill. We preserved 5,000 jobs for an ordinary, ordinary people. But it's not only 5,000 jobs, it's with all their collaborators, it's more than 15,000 jobs, which is huge number for such a or relatively small country such as Serbia. The Zanatis region in Kazakhstan, with its steppe and canyon landscape, boast abundant wind energy resources. Under the framework of the synergy between the Belt and Road Initiative and Kazakhstan's Bright Road New Economic Policy, a 100 megawatt Sonatus wind farm was commissioned by China and Kazakhstan, becoming Central Asia's largest wind farm at that time. Будущее за возобновляемым источником электроэнергии, которая не приносит никакого вреда для экологии нашей страны. In June 2021, the Sonatus wind farm was put into operation. By the end of 2022, compared with coal-fired power plants with the same capacity, the wind farm had saved the equivalent of 255,000 tons of standard coal 
and reduce carbon dioxide emissions by about 673,000 tons. The project has also created jobs, increased tax revenues, and brought new opportunities for urban development. In 2022, Kasabai transferred to work on another wind power project in the Okmala region, also a key project under the framework of China-Kazakhstan production capacity cooperation. The new windmill tower, installed by Kasabai and his colleagues, is about 100 meters high. Each of the three blades is 84 meters long and weighs 22 tons. It takes at least five days to install each unit. Завершен монтаж очередной ветротурбины. Установили лопасть. На данный момент ведутся работы по закреплению ступиц. Сегодня мы провели испытания и электроэнергия, вырабатываемая данной ветротурбиной B24F, уже интегрирована в национальную электросеть Казахстана. Soon afterwards, the 205 megawatt wind power project in the Yakmala region will be fully operational. This wind farm, together with the one in Zanatus, will become part of Kazakhstan's largest cluster of wind power projects. People need equal opportunities. They need to be able to freely choose their uh, type of employment, their line of education, and uh, uh, of course, how their lives can develop. You know, these, these are the basic rights, and they can only be achieved through development because the BRI is focused on development. Once you have better economy, you have better opportunity of uh, education, healthcare, and uh, uh, justice. To make sure that people live a good life and enjoy better education, more stable employment, a more beautiful environment, and a richer cultural and spiritual life are the essence of people fully enjoying more human rights. The BRI fosters cooperation in fields like education, employment, environmental protection, and culture and promotes the all-round development of people, continually strengthening the foundation of human rights development. My name is Débora, I have 24 years old. I live in the Maré, I think 20 years old. Débora's home is in the Mari slum in Rio de Janeiro one of Brazil's largest slums. Coincidentally, Deborah came across some cello music online and fell in love with it. I was passionate. Eu escutei assim, eu fiquei, gente, que coisa linda. Então é isso mesmo, é esse som que eu vou emitir, sabe? When Deborah was 12 years old, the Mare do Amano Orchestra came to recruit new students at Deborah's school. Deborah was selected to join the orchestra. The founder of the orchestra, Carlos, grew up in a musical family. In 2010, he established the orchestra in Mara and recruited nearby children to learn musical instruments. However, a lack of funds once forced the band to the brink of dissolution. Alguns professores no início desistiram, não ficaram no projeto. Mas a gente resolveu encarar, acreditar que a gente pode mudar esse lugar pela música, pela força da música. 
After learning about the difficulties faced by Mara de Romana Orchestra, a Chinese company, State Grid Brazil Holding, decided to offer assistance. With funding from SGBH, Deborah was able to continue pursuing her musical dreams. A partir de então, eu digo, a Orquestra Maré do Amanhã passa a existir de fato. A gente tinha na cabeça um sonho, que era fazer com que esses meninos se tornassem multiplicadores dentro da, dentro da comunidade. Quando a State Grid chega, a gente pode começar a sonhar. In 2017, after completing her studies in the orchestra, Deborah chose to stay and teach, helping more children fulfill their musical dreams. With the assistance of SGBH, the orchestra rapidly expanded. So far, 6,000 children from poor families have received professional music education here. The orchestra has performed in more than 80 cities in four countries. Depois que eu entrei para orquestra, eu cresci aqui. Entrei que eu era uma criança, assim, adolescente praticamente, e mudou. Eu não sei aonde eu estaria se não fosse a orquestra. In the joint pursuit of the BRI, efforts have been made to promote the protection of the rights and interests of special groups, including women, children, the elderly, and persons with disabilities from various countries, aiming to enable them to participate equally in social life and share the benefits of developing the joint pursuit of the BRI. China has made historic achievements in its human rights cause and remain steadfast in its commitment to the protection of human rights. Over the past decade, China has also shared its achievements and experiences in human rights development with BRI partner countries. No country can fundamentally develop in isolation. And it is precisely about um, linking the different countries and, and their people. So th this, is, this is fundamental to, to a uh, common future and, and, and a shared destiny. It will bring together people, it will reduce the risk for conflict and it will promote understanding. Many countries are the beneficiary of Belt and Road Initiative. The Belt and Road uh, for me has become a very major platform of cooperation, international cooperation with development and peace at the center of it. To protect the life, value and dignity of every individual and realize the enjoyment of human rights by all is humanity's common pursuit. The joint pursuit of the BRI spans different regions, development stages and civilizations, closely connecting the future and destiny of partner countries. It provides an important platform for building a global community of shared future and constructing a world of common prosperity, steering global human rights governance toward greater fairness, justice, equity and inclusiveness. <laughs>